USA TV, your virtual newsroom for telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okutaya, and we're here at Telecom Exchange in New York City. And with our honored guest, Mr. Rob Barlow, he is the CEO of Wire IE. Rob, welcome to JSA TV. Well, thank you for the very kind introduction. Oh, we're excited to have you. It's, uh, it's been an exciting few years over at Wire IE, certainly uh, some major developments. Can you give our viewers who may not already know a little bit of background information? Well, YRE is a Canadian carrier that really focuses on underserved markets in Canada. Uh, we're ver vertically focused uh, in the public sector and oil and gas industries. Uh, YRE has been doing this for about seven years, building our own networks to underserved markets that really focuses on high availability, security, and getting and unleashing the potential of those markets with um, trusted, reliable broadband service. Talking about reliability, YRE has been the recipient of the MEF uh, Carrier Ethernet 2.0 certification. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, YRE uh, has a certification for, for uh, MEF 2.0 because we deliver high availability networks that CIOs today are demanding. Mission critical business applications need this type of certification because um, today's environment is all about cost savings and workforce management and delivering applications that are going to make organizations more productive. YRE obtained this certification as the only network provider in the northern hemisphere that delivers hybrid networks in, in underserved markets. So the certification that uh, Metro Ethernet Forum has uh, allowed us to achieve um, really takes away all the doubt about our ability to deliver quality. And a question I like to ask my CEOs who are in the hot seat here at JSA TV is to peer inside that, that crystal ball and tell us what's, what's the future hold for YRIE? Well, YRIE really is all about unleashing the potential in underserved markets. We really believe that you know, sweating the copper is not the future. The future is building high availability, high speed networks to these um, markets that have quite frankly have not had the opportunity to, you know, capture the bandwidth and, and requirements that we get in metro areas. So we're able to deliver the same type of service in underserved markets and we will continue to do, to do that all around uh, North America and follow our big, large uh, customers where they want to go.